What's good, Garrett Gang? How y'all doing today? I hope excellent. Um, sorry I didn't get to finish posting the video of finishing Melba hair yesterday. Um, I didn't get. Uh, I got it finished, and I'll show y'all this evening when I get off the bus. I guess I'll do a video vlog for y'all waiting on the kids to get off the bus. Um, so, uh, I got to go ahead and finish, uh, filling out this, uh, application about the mobile home. Um, I've been praying for that and still doing the challenge with me. She's so wells. I have not given up, given up on that, but I think that's going to be my daily thing now. I'm going to, um, do one of those vlogs and every day because it makes me feel so much better y'all like uh seeing what you're thankful for because everybody that don't follow me she so wells um i can tell y'all a little bit about the challenge um is basically saying what you're thankful for and doing a prayer and then doing like a um vote motivate i guess i do a motivational speech to myself and you know um and to encourage myself to keep myself going but yeah um that's another thing i've been working on getting myself together on that um Still looking for Christmas assistance. Still haven't looked up or anything. So I'm going to try to probably reach out to the school today to see if they know or heard of anything um, to apply for. Um, so that's my goal for the year, this year. Um, getting some, get, making sure the kids got a Christmas and things like that and that nature. Um, I also have uh, this Sunday, um, I, my cousin have her baby shower. She's having a little boy, his name, um, I, uh, so I'm going to see if she'll let me post for y'all, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a part of the, you know, if that's what she's going to want. So I'll let y'all know Saturday for sure, but, um another one of my cousins coming to pick me up so i can make it to the baby shower um and y'all she uh she is doing a halloween themed baby shower when i say it's been difficult for me to find a costume oh baby it's really been difficult um me me and my mom uh, find some stuff for uh, the baby. She having a little boy, um, so we we been um, you know dibbling and dabbling, dabbling and stuff and looking for stuff. Um, I've been having problems trying to find a reasonable bassinet because she need a bassinet for the baby. So y'all pray for me. Hopefully I can find one that's reasonable um you know so she can have that for him um so that's what i've been doing uh lately y'all um girl really been trying <laughs> and uh looking for somewhere to stay trying to keep in touch with the housing authority to see if they got any programs that's out there to help you find a place but so far let down um uh if anybody any of my subscribers know where i can find a reasonable baby live or and some uh a website that um you know find well if y'all know of any places i can get help for my kids for christmas let me know please post in the comment section and let me know uh, so that I can either reach out or find somebody, uh, to help me this year for, with the kids, um, with their stuff. Um, 
um, like I said before, I'm on a fixed income, so it's been really hard and difficult to be able to get the stuff that they need. Um, my oldest and the baby girl want reborns. Y'all, those things is expensive, okay? <laughs> it's expensive, but they want those for Christmas. I'm, I'm just everywhere with it, so trying to find things that you know they're like my son want a basketball and the basketball go so i'm i'm looking for a place to go so they can have it and um uh so that's where i'm at now y'all so i don't i don't know what else to do i'm just not gonna stress about it because it, it ain't gonna change nothing but um as far as everything else everything else been going it's been going let's just put it like that it's been going um and um making sure that the kids won't be uh trying to make sure just because i'm in a bad place right now i don't think they should have to pay for what i'm going through in life so us as a family, they really been, you know what I'm saying, dealing with it. They've been really doing good. Um, uh, other than, you know, Melba being sick and, uh, well, all of them got uh, allergies. But I've been trying to, end, you know, keep, keep preaching to them about, you need to take your medicine, and they don't like to take medicine, so... It's been a struggle with that too, so um, so that's where I'm at now. So hopefully, y'all will be moving, and I'll be bringing y'all along, showing y'all a house or apartment or whatever I can get at this moment, this point, um, to stay. And my come up, I've been praying for a come up, so I know it's I know it's gonna come to pass. And I appreciate all y'all that has been supporting me, going through this journey with me. I really do. I appreciate y'all. So, um, uh, the key to so I can keep y'all, you know, just in case somebody going through what I'm going through. You, you, you know, don't give up. Keep the faith. Keep even if you got to do what Miss She so wells uh doing, she um you can that that can help you, that can motivate you. It does me. It it really helped me come out this dark space that I was in and want to give up. Um, just feeling like you can't do it no more. And at the end of it all, you know, it's it's all it's a high it's a higher power out there. It gives you faith. It gives you hope. It gives you everything that you need to have at that time. So don't give up. Just know you ain't the only one going through what you're going through. I know it might seem like the world against you, but trust and believe me, you ain't the only you know only one. And don't be hard on yourself. Cause it's it's going it's a light at the end of the tunnel. Trust and believe that. Um. So I, cause I rock with y'all and I want to get y'all a little, you know, pink. Uh, let y'all know what's going on with with me and, you know, motive. Well, I ain't gonna, well let y'all hear what's going on with my life. Cause I don't want to start something and don't finish. Cause. If that was my past, not my future. I don't want to be that same person no more. So, like I said, you know, start, it started Saturday trying to right my wrongs and everything that I'm going through. Trying to right whatever that I did wrong or, you know, all that stuff like that. So, that's what I've been doing. That's my journey. That's my testimony. That's what I'm going through. So... I want to get on here and holler at y'all and appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are phenomenal. Phenomenal. And y'all going to do phenomenal things in this world. Trust and believe that.
at first I was one of them people that just felt like the world was against me. And it's not. It it's really not. Like you just got to make uh, you got to make a difference in your life. Once your mind made up and that's something that you want to do, do it. Don't don't even if it's YouTubing. Uh, whatever you feel like you want to do in life and you want to accomplish, you can do it. So go ahead, get your accomplishments on. Do what you do. You know, I have to learn each and every day, um, you know, my faults, uh, what I can do better or different. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm praying for growth growth in everything that I love, you know, everything that I love to do, I pray for growth. Um, you know, I pray for everybody, y'all included. I pray for, I pray for everybody. I pray that everybody wins. So, uh, that's what I want to get on here and talk a little bit about. Like, I see a, a change in my growth. From me being from the beginning to the end, like in the beginning, I was just always down. I was always depressed. I was always this and I was always that because I kept looking at the downside of my downfall, you know, the downside of what's going on in my life right then and there. So another thing I had to do was, you know, think about you here now because God is trying to build you to what he needs you to be. And that's the way I look at it. That's not everybody outlook and I ain't trying to push that on everybody, but that's the way I feel. Like he he trying to mold me into the person he need me to be. And that's why I feel like the growth is a big part of my my come up. Like I I feel like I got to change me. I got to look within me. I got to take faults and faults. I mean, I got to take responsibility for my own actions. I can't get on here and point out everybody else's flaws and faults and all that stuff. Because that ain't going to work. That is not going to work. It's not, you're not God. So, I don't feel like I can be the one to tell everybody else what to do or anything like that. So, I would prefer just to talk and then explain my situation and my growth and you know what i i'm trying to do different my rights and uh, correcting my wrongs that's a start i want my next step is to fix my credit so i can be able to one day buy me the house and the car and my dreams that's another thing that i'm praying to come to pass you know being able to work on my credit and work on me inside and out um so those are my goals to one day uh start finding people to help me fix my credit and um uh help me uh uh, be able to buy a house in, in a car of my dreams. At first, I, I, I mean, I, well, I'm going to say cars because I ain't going to say I'm just going to get one because it's me and my uh, kid's father, baby daddy, because uh, we're not engaged. My significant other. So, that's another thing I want to do. I want to get him a car of his dreams and me a car of my dreams. So those are goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Buy me a car. I mean a house. Cash uh, cash out. So I feel like what Miss Shell Well is doing is helping me build myself up. So that I can have the motivation to do what I need to do to get myself. Like she's a phenomenal YouTuber. Phenomenal. Like she even responds to you when you text her. It's a couple of them out there. I don't remember her name, but she, um, I don't even know her name. But it's not a lot of them that, that motivate you 
Uh, but Miss You So Well does. She do. She do a phenomenal job. And I pray to one day to be able to meet her. Like, I'm a big fan of her. She's like a sus to me. Like, for real. Like, she, when I, when, when I be down and I'm down on her channel and down in myself, she, sus, you got to do this. You got to do A, B, and C. Like, she don't, she don't sugarcoat for you. She real. Like, you don't really see too many of those. So, um, I, I like that type of energy. I do. I love that type of energy. And, you know, it might be a lot of other ones out there like that. I don't really know people like that. The YouTubers that speak on them like that. But I can say that about Miss She So Well. I am a big fan of other YouTubers. But, you know, I don't, I never spoke to them a day in my life. So, yeah. And I, and I don't, you know, I ain't going to say I never speak to them, but I never spoke to them. Um, if the opportunity it presents his itself then that's what it'll be but right now um i'm gonna say i appreciate all y'all my new subscribers along with my old ones um that has been rocking with your girl i see a lot more people watching my videos so i appreciate y'all too if y'all like what y'all see please hit that subscribe button and that you will be notified every time I post on my um post on my channel, so you'll get a uh so it uh let you know every time I post on my video. Until next time, y'all. Peace, one love, bye bye.